Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. Knowing your strengths is really important, and one of the things that I would encourage you to do as a leader, as an individual contributor, is to do some form of assessments. I'm going to do a quick review. You know, when you think about doing a DISC assessment, it doesn't really list your strengths, yet it gives you concrete, contextual insight to who you are. Now, I happen to be a high I, which is an influencer. We're enthusiastic. We're opportunistic. We like to share our ideas. The D is dominant. The C is conscientiousness. And then the um, S is supportive. So, what, or steadiness, excuse me, steadiness. Now, when you think about DISC, it gives you an understanding of who you are. The other assessment I would encourage you to do is something called the EQI. Now, we're at, actually certified in both assessments, but EQI is assessing your emotional intelligence. You know, for me, right before the uh, um, pandemic, I got certified by a gentleman by the name of Ed Hennessy out of Dallas, Texas. And I remember he was the facilitator and he said, well, who would like to role play with me? I said, well, I'll go with you. And we've really struck up a great friendship. He's a wonderful man. Um, His wife, Chris, who runs the company with him, they're just wonderful people. And he said, when I got my assessment, he goes, what do you think your low score is? And I said, empathy. He said, you're right. And we got into this discussion. So for the past six, seven years, or whatever the time frame's been, I've been practicing empathy, seeking how other people are feeling showing consideration. And I have to be honest with you, it was hard. It's still hard. And I'm the kind of a person who really is the person who I'll grind through it. I'll work through it. You know, I love Denzel Washington's quote. I, I This may be my favorite quote, hard work works. I don't think a lot of people always work hard. Now that might be a jaded view. It's just a, a perspective and a belief that I have. Yet what I found myself doing was bestowing that belief system on other people's shoulders. How unfair, especially for someone who teaches coaching. And so as I started to show empathy, I noticed something. Things got better. Our teamwork at our company, our collaboration, our consideration got better. You know, we don't fix people. We navigate and adjust and tweak and we, we, we change with them. So find an assessment. I would encourage you to look into DISC. I would encourage you to look into uh, emotional intelligence. Now, I am not against MBTI, which is the Myers-Briggs, I think it's training instrument, and that measures your personality. So I think I'm like an ENFJ, E is extrovert, I is introvert. Obviously, not a shock, especially as a high I in DISC. My personality trait is I'm an extrovert. I always worry about those assessments because you don't really change personalities. You can't coach to personality. It gives you a conscientious um, understanding of who you are and who other people are. You can do the same thing with DISC, which is a little bit easier to apply. So think about finding an assessment and then asking yourself after the assessment results from DISC to EQI to even that SOAR analysis we covered in the last episode, how do I go about leveraging those results to do what? to truly understanding how I can leverage those results to support my strengths and address the areas where I have opportunity to build more strengths. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. 
And recently, we just created a new service called Coach to You, where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign seven to 21 day programs for employees to learn and more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.